In this video, I want to show you some behind-the-scenes development work in Amethyst. This is something we don't normally show, but I think it illustrates something quite important about Amethyst, that it really is suitable for developing quite substantial action script and flash-based projects. Now here you can see something that's in development. It's a new design environment. Previously we've done design environments for uh, Flex 3 and Flex 4 where we're doing something new now. This is actually a complete flash, standard flash design environment. All these buttons and controls you can see are part of the standard flash uh, class hierarchy. There's no flex at all. And as with our previous designers, you drag and drop, uh, resize, set the grid size, uh, snap to grid, and so on. Uh, drag into containers and move around, and so on and so forth. And select and deselect. Um, but now I want to show you how I've actually created this using Amethyst itself. So the point is that we've been developing the Amethyst designer using Amethyst. Now this is a look into something we don't normally show to the rest of the world. This is our internal development on part of a forthcoming project uh, integrated into Visual Studio that will implement the flash-based designer that I just showed you. So you can see that all my source code is in the Solution Explorer. In fact, this has got more than one project. I've got the main project up here. And down below I've got some library projects and a, a simple test project. And I've got lots and lots of code in many different directories here. Now I'm using the full features of Amethyst when I'm developing this. I'm using refactoring, uh, IntelliSense, and all the editing capabilities. Now one of the special features that makes this so useful for developing uh, the, the Amethyst designer is its ability to debug the designer from within Visual Studio, and I want to show you that next. I'm going to show you a very simple example here of how I can debug the Amethyst designer from within Visual Studio, that is, using Amethyst itself. So here I'm in the class that implements the rubber band, that's the selection box when you select controls. I'm just going to put a breakpoint on the stop method when the rubber band is deactivated. Now I put it into listen mode. When it's in listen mode, the debugger waits for a, an SWF, a debuggable SWF, to be started. It happens that this is going to be embedded in Amethyst itself, but it could be in a web browser or in Air, some other form of SWF in your own projects. Now I'm starting a second copy of Visual Studio here. Normally, I would have this on a separate monitor. I've got a two-monitor system, and I normally keep what I'm debugging on one monitor and the amethyst that's doing the debugging in the other monitor. I'm opening my form definition. Now, this is something that we haven't shown before. This is not MXML. It's not a definition of a form for flex. This is our own XML version, which defines a, a design for a, a, what we call a flash forms application. Now I switch to the designer, and I now use the rubber band. And when it stops, my breakpoint is hit, and now I can use the debugger in the normal way. So press F11 to step into the next methods. And I can use all the debugging windows to drill down and see what's going on here. So that's just a simple example of how we use Amethyst in the development of Amethyst. Uh, but bear in mind, as I said, that you can use this listen mode in the debug menu to attach to your own SWFs in your own applications.